Welcome to New Hope. Today we are starting our Advent Christmas series, and over these next few weeks we're going to be looking at Handel's Messiah. A bit of an intro to that topic. I'm sure it's familiar to a few of you. It was written in 1741 in 24 days, so one of the, probably one of the most famous pieces of music ever in the last 500 years was written in 24 days. It's about, wait for it, the Messiah, the Anointed One, Jesus Christ. And it's not really a Christmas thing. It's the birth, the prophecies of Jesus, the birth, death, and resurrection of Jesus, and how Jesus is talked about in the book of Revelation. So it's a broad swath picture of who Jesus is, but it has ended up being a huge Christmas thing for our time. So it's still a very good topic for the Advent season. Now, some of you may not be into classical music or Handel at all. Um, to you, I say, relax. It's not about Handel, and it's not about classical music. It's about the God, the Spirit of Christ, moving in behind the music. And uh, if you're here to know that God, then Handel is a great door to walk through to see his face. For those of you who are huge fans of Handel and love the music and have loved it all the time, this is going to be a great four weeks. And um, be careful not to stop with what you've always loved in Handel, but to, again, let yourself listen beyond the words and behind the music to what God, through Christ, might be saying.
Handel's Messiah begins with a strong note of promise. Promise to a people who were in captivity, who felt hemmed in and imprisoned by life, who felt as though they were being held against their wills in a condition that was not right. They were burdened and embattled. Everything seemed day after day just to be a fight or a struggle or a search for a something more kind of place. It was a promise in this Messiah to a people who were yearning for freedom. A promise from God through a prophet that he sees you and he knows your condition and he knows your questions and your pain. He sees the fear, understands your doubt and how uncomfortable and difficult life is. God sees the world in all of its brokenness and he not only sees it because he is who he is God sees and then God acts God's actions began and begin with a promise through words that came from the prophet Isaiah chapter 40 which form the script for the first four songs in Handel's Messiah from the King James Version. This will probably be the first and last time you hear this at New Hope, the King James Version. Comfort ye, comfort ye my people, saith your God. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned. For she hath received of the Lord's hand double for all of her sins. The voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way for the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough places plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall, shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. Can you hear the promise? God's promise for your life and for this entire world. <laughs> 